Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to New Brit Workshop. This is the four cut test uh, using the top that I've recently made using the Path Guide System Mark II. What I've got here is a piece of MDF. It's um, uh, just over 12 millimeters in thickness and um, I've numbered the sides one, two, three and four. Now it's called the four cut test because I make an assumption that one side's already been cut clean. Uh, some people call it five cut test because you've got to cut that first side clean. That's the theory. Anyway, so I've got my first side cut clean. And you go around and you uh, do one cut, then another, then another, and then uh, the final cut. And on the final cut you take the piece of wood you've just cut and then measure it to then determine the accuracy. Now I'm going to do this all in one take and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed uh, that it's okay. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I've set up a clock here uh, and that's to prove that I'm not cheating. Or Well, it sort of proves I'm not cheating. Uh, I suppose I could cheat somehow. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, and my setup is very simple. I've got these uh, guide pups here, a pair of Puff Super Dogs, and I'm using a standard Festool guide rail, and the guide rail is being held onto the Super Dogs with a pair of rail clips. And I'm going to start with one, two, three, and then four. And there's the clock, fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. Each time I'm going to just make sure I'm snugly up against those uh, pups at the end. Now this is the final cut, fingers crossed. And now this is the piece that we measure. Now we've got to measure, first of all, we've got to measure its length and it is uh, four, four, six millimeters, four, four, six long and then I've got to measure it at the two ends. This is 9.9 at the other end it's eight point it's at the other end it's nine point It's varying slightly. It depends how hard. I just realise how hard I press on here. I've got to be consistent. I'm just going to re-measure this again and try and apply the same pressure. So let's have a look. That is 9.98 this time. Interesting. And this is 9.0. So 9.98 and 9.00. So what I now have to do is to take one away from the other and it makes 0 0.98. Then I need my calculator and I have to then take um, 
0.98 divide it by the length which was 446 and then divide by 4 and that equals 0.0005493 so that's what that equals there that's that calculation now the clever ones amongst you will know what that means but I, I believe uh, that gives you the angular um, measurement in radians and so if you uh, divide by 2 pi and multiply by 360 you get the degrees out let me see if I can do that I haven't got pi on there I'm sorry about that but I didn't have pi on this uh, calculator so I had to nip into the house anyway 0 0.000 5493 radians equals 0 0.03147 of a degree. I think that's pretty good. I'm sure you will too. I hope so. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.